What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Dan Becker here. Um, so this is the third video I've done on this. I've done uh, one in 2019, one in 2020, and now this is the 2021 edition. <laughs> uh, this is backpacking gear. I absolutely 100% should have bought sooner if I had known it had existed. Actually, I did know this stuff existed, but I, should, I just should have bought it sooner. Uh, the first thing on the list is actually um, stakes, uh, tent stakes. Not that I haven't bought tent stakes before, but I wish I would have bought better tent stakes. So these are the MSR Groundhog stakes. And the reason I say that I should have bought stakes like this sooner is because I've used uh, just a ton of different types of stakes. Uh, the real thin, like titanium ones, I've used cheap Walmart ones, I've used just, you know, tent stakes that come with the tents, which are almost always garbage, no matter how good of a tent you buy, no matter how much money you spend on a tent. As a matter of fact, some of the tents that you buy that are super expensive don't even come with tent stakes, like seriously, really? Uh, but these are by far the best tent stakes I've bought. And I don't even have a single bend, like at all, in any of these stakes whatsoever. Now you can get knockoffs of these uh, tent stakes, but I don't recommend you buy those at all. Just get the real deal. It's gonna cost you like 20 bucks to get six tent stakes and uh, people have complained on my channel about how expensive that is. They're not expensive at all. That's for a good stake. These things are awesome. They, they um, actually work as winter stakes as well. Even though they're small, they do work. Uh, so you just basically uh, lay them in the snow like this. You just kind of lay them down in the snow and then you can bury them under snow and they'll lock like in cement. They go into all types of terrain from sand to uh, dirt uh, to rock, uh, all that stuff. And they've never really pulled out on um, any of my tents at all. Tent stakes are certainly something I should have bought sooner. All right, I know I'm gonna hear it from you guys on this one because there's like two groups of people on this particular product. Uh, there's, there's people that love it and people that hate it. I love it because uh, I'm a weekend warrior guy. I'm not a through hiker. Through hikers, you're gonna like the other version of this, just watch this. Okay, I wish I would have bought the Catadine Bee Free filter sooner. Um, man, I've had this for almost a year now, I think, ish. Um, and I love it, super fast flow rate. Filters just as uh, good as far as like what it filters as the other popular filters on the market. It's very light, I can carry it right here. I strap it on uh, the sternum strap of my backpack with this little aqua clip here that does not come with it. You can get these separately. The biggest reason I love this is just because of how convenient it is. It's so easy to filter the water with this. So fast, so quick. People complain that it you know clogs up or whatever. If you're going out like me, you know, weekend trips, um, you know, you're not on a through hike, you're not going millions of miles kind of thing. This is perfectly fine for you. And I have yet to have one completely clog up on me. I have yet to have the bag have a pinhole, you know, leak on it. This is the original bag. I've used this on multiple, multiple, multiple trips. I've dropped it. Uh, I've scraped it on stuff. I've accidentally stepped on it when it was full of water. Um, love this thing. 100% wish I would have uh, found this and bought this sooner. Real quick though, before we get into this next uh, piece of gear item that I should have bought sooner, I gotta tell you about our sponsor. The awesome people over at Art of the Trek are working hard to research and add campsites, trailheads, water sources, and scenic locations to their public map. The good news is you can now add your own points of interest to the map and help other people plan their trips. If you have a favorite campsite, trailhead, water source, or scenic location that you'd like to share with others, head over to artofthetrek.com. Turn on some points of interest from their overlays menu and select the orange plus sign at the bottom of your screen to help other hikers plan the best trips possible. If you contribute at least a dozen or so of these, they will be happy to send you a free swag bag. All right, another gear item I wish I would have bought sooner. I'm actually sitting on it. Well, like several layers down. <laughs> it's this right here. It is a, <laughs> it's a closed cell foam sleeping pad. Um, this one just happens to be the Gossamer gear I love this thing for so many reasons. It's, it's about um, torso, well, it's a little bit longer than torso length. It goes down to like about my calves to the back of my head. Um, but I can use it for so many things. I can fold it up and use it as a sit pad. And then I like it underneath the pad because it stops my sleeping bag from, I'm sorry, it stops my sleeping pad from slipping around on the bottom of the tent, which is super annoying when that happens. So um, I love it for that reason. Also, this sort of squares out the back of my backpack because I can fold it up and then put it up on the inside of my backpack up against my back and it acts like as a, a little bit of a, a cushion, you know, for the stuff that might be in my backpack that would kind of push on my back. So that's why I like it for that. Um, and then it also adds a little bit of R value. They claim that it adds like a 0.5 R value so it can kind of warm up uh, your sleeping pads. Anyway, multi-purpose, weighs next to nothing. It's like two, two and a half ounces. 
totally worth it. Love this thing. Wish I would have bought this sooner. Okay, another uh, piece of gear item. I absolutely wish I would have, not that I haven't bought this sooner. I, I've, I bought this like when I was a kid. Like my parents bought it for me when we were car camping and stuff. But I wish I would have been using it sooner in my backpacking situation. Not that I don't love the other version of this, but it's kind of like the, um, the water filter, the B-free water filter. There's totally two camps on this. I wish I would have bought an actual sleeping bag sooner. So I started out backpacking with a quilt, like a lot of people uh, backpack with a quilt and they love it. And I do love it, I still love it. And I'm still gonna use a quilt. I use it uh, in the summertime especially. But there's just something about being completely enclosed and cocooned in a sleeping bag that is just so comfortable. I can roll around and not have to worry about my sides coming up on it. And even warmer, I find it to be warmer. Not a lot of people find sleeping bags to be warmer. I do find them to be warmer. Uh, and I have used quilts all year long. I have a zero degree UGQ quilt that is awesome. I absolutely love it. And I also have a 20 degree UGQ quilt that I absolutely love. And I'm still gonna continue to use those, but I, I've, I've just been using sleeping bags. Uh, this is the uh, Big Agnes uh, Torchlight 20 degree bag. This is the first night I'm using this. This bag is super cool because it expands. So you can, this isn't the zipper to like open it up. This is the zipper to expand it. <laughs> and it goes down the length of both sides. So like uh, it can size to you, which I'm really excited to try this out. Um, and it doesn't like reduce any of the insulation by doing this so that it stays just as warm. At least that's what they, that's what they claim. Um, and so it, it's narrow when it's closed, it's wide when they're expanded. And so side sleepers can use it and adjust it. You know, you can have the top open and the bottom closed, or if you like a big foot box, you can open up the bottom. So really cool. This has also got 850 fill down inside of it. And it's really lightweight for a sleeping bag. I think this weighs like two pounds, six ounces. So I really like this. Uh, and then this one is my, uh, the one my son's using this weekend. This is the Western Mountaineering Alpen Light. Uh, this is another 20 degree bag, fantastic bag. This is my favorite bag of all. Uh, but he's using that one tonight. Uh, anyway, I, I just love the sleeping bag. I really do. I've really, really, really enjoyed it. I wish I would have uh, bought a sleeping bag sooner. And I wish I wouldn't have uh, felt like I needed to like buy a quilt because everybody was telling me to do it. So another item I wish I would have bought sooner is uh, a real pillow. So I've used in the past uh, for years this Trekology pillow, which is a good pillow. It's, you know, comfortable for what it is. It only weighs like three ounces. Um, and it's, it's decent, right? Um, but when I finally, um, just, I totally bought this on a whim. When I bought this, the Thermarest um, compressible pillow, this was a game changer for me, like an actual game changer. Like I didn't realize what I was missing out on with an actual pillow to be able to sleep so good at night. Now the weight penalty on this is, it's seven ounces and this is the small version. But I love it so much, I bring two. <laughs> Every time I go backpacking, I take two of these with me. I, for the longest time, used really lightweight pillows. Even before I had this one, I had like a little plastic bag pillow. It weighed literally like, I think it was like a half an ounce. It was a, like a Ziploc bag that you blew up with a straw and it had like paper towel material on one side <laughs> to like, as like a coating on it. And it, it was the worst pillow ever. <laughs> but you know what? I graduated to this and then I finally graduated to this and I'm just loving it. I'm loving having that comfortable sleep at night. So man, I, I wish I would have bought a real pillow sooner, 100%. Okay, and the last item, you guys are gonna laugh at me, I know it. I'm gonna hear it in the comments. Oh, here, it's hanging above my head. This is an actual air pump to blow up. Uh, my sleeping pads. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, why would you do that? Just blow it up with your lungs, right? Uh, well, in the winter time, I don't recommend you blow up air pads with your lungs. One, you're filling it up with moisture, right? Uh, and that moisture will get cold at night, especially in the winter time. And it's gonna reduce uh, what your air pad is capable of doing. So that R value that's claimed, uh, it's actually gonna be reduced by that moisture that you're putting in that pad. So that's a great reason to bring this, especially when it's in cold weather. But this is only like three ounces. Like really, that's that's like an average headlamp. Um, and this is a generic version. This is the Flextail Tiny uh, Pump. This one is super cool for one reason. It's got a camp light on it. Check that out. Goes up to 400 lumens. It'll fill up my air pad in, I don't know, probably three to four minutes. And that's a full size air pad, like a 25 inch wide long air pad. And uh, it filled the Nemo up the Nemo tents are up that quickly. 
And it also filled up the Thermarest. Uh, this is the X-Therm. This is the large version of that. And this is the regular wide version of this one. Very, very quickly, I didn't have to, you know, feel all out of breath after hiking a long day. Oh, and it's rechargeable. Check that out. Like, totally rechargeable. USB rechargeable. Not that you'd ever be out that many nights with it. Maybe you would, but uh, if you're using it as a camp light, super cool. So, totally wish I would have bought this sooner, 100%. What is it that you guys bought this year you would have bought, uh, you wish you would have bought sooner? Uh, the stuff that you guys finally found, and you're like, man, this was a game changer for me. Let me know in the comments below. That'd be really cool to hear. Um, I'm gonna put my Instagram right here. Make sure you guys follow me there. Also, guess what? I started to TikTok, so you can follow me there. I'll put that right here. Um, and then uh, make sure you like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.